Did this guy just trip over him? This guy gets hit too, and he falls backwards and like stumbles into this guy, and this guy trips over him and fires. I never saw anyone laying down on the floor in the hangar shooting. <gasps> no way, a second guy went prone. Oh no, he died. <laughs> I can't believe I never thought of this before. We've been doing this series for a while now. In fact, the Battle of Naboo, the Gungans versus the droids in the planes, was one of the first videos we did. I totally forgot about the battle that takes place in between this, between Qui-Gon, Obi-Wan, Padme, and the rest of her detail at Theed Palace as they try to retake the city. Because there is just as much glorious prequels action in this battle as there is in the other Battle of Naboo. If you're new here, welcome to the channel. I'm Michael J, and I'm here every week making fun videos you're not going to want to miss. So make sure you force smash that subscribe button if you enjoy the video. I think right now only 12% of the people watching this video are actually subscribed. It's totally free and it really helps out the channel, so feel free to absolutely destroy it. All right, so while the Gungans are fighting the droids in the hills, let's see what we're doing in the city. Lots of AAT tanks everywhere, little battle droids all over the place. It's such a beautiful city, by the way. Honestly, I love these little light clickers that they use to communicate. I always wanted those as kids to like do at school or I don't know, while you're playing with friends. I mean, I doubt the light would be that bright in the day. You could probably only use it at night. Oh my goodness, I used to have Captain Panaka's gun in a water pistol version. I don't know if I can find it, but I'll put it up on screen here if I see it. It was the coolest replica gun ever. That would be so cool if I still had that, but I, that was when I was little, little. That is so cool. Did you notice that that battle droid just fell apart because he fell on the ground? Look at it. This tank shoots this tank, right? Blows these battle droids up. Watch this guy here. Nothing hits him. He just gets blown forward and just combusts. He explodes into a million little Lego pieces. I mean, they look fragile as is, but that is literally knocking them over and they fall apart. Oh my gosh, this one's head falls off. Look, he falls to the ground and his head just pops off and rolls forward. I mean, this is all hand animated, right? There was no mocap suits used for, for these things, I don't think. Even this droid's reaction. I mean, that's beautiful. Look at that. Oh, I didn't even notice. Here's the Jedi hiding around the corner. Is that Obi-Wan? Yeah, that's Obi-Wan, Anakin, and Padme. They are not trying to be sneaky. They are peeking around this corner. There's R2 behind the bush. Oh my goodness. Do you see this? Okay, so literally they shoot the tank and then all the droids are like, oh no, there's bad guys here. Let's start shooting them. Look at this guy that falls to the ground back here in the yellow suit. First frame, he's already dead. And I love that the tank just pulls out, just backs away after it kind of activates the alarm and all the bad guys notice it, it just kind of backs away and lets the troopers take all the droids blaster fire. So was the yellow guy faking it or did he just die? Was there a droid that shot him before we heard the shots and turned around? I feel like he just fell over. I feel like he's pretending to die so he doesn't actually die. The way that these Jedi robes flow behind them when they run is something else. Oh, that was beautiful. He's just running along and deflects this blast into the ceiling. And then he does another one the same way, spins and just bats this droid in half. See, my problem with recent Star Wars video games is when you hit stuff with a lightsaber, it does this, you just kind of swing a baseball bat into them, but they don't break into a million pieces. They just stay together and they fall down. The breakaways on these battle droids is beautiful. I'd rather fight droids and be able to just cut them up into tiny pieces than fight stormtroopers and my lightsaber feel like a baseball bat. Wow, there's a ton of guys back here sneaking behind the droids into the palace. Hmm, tiny little detail. This green blaster's in front of this guy, even though it's technically behind him. Oh, it hits him so hard too. It stops him in its tracks and pushes him backwards. That is so satisfying. No way, look at this battle droid. He's in the sitting down club. Okay, so I think there's three people in the club now. We have the original Empire Strikes Back after Chewie shoots him in Cloud City, he kind of just plops down. There's one in the finale of Mando season one. There's another guy somewhere else that we just recently found. Rogue One. Oh yeah, the Battle of Jeddah. There's a guy sleeping on a bench. And now this guy. I mean, he's not a stormtrooper, but he, he do be sitting. Honestly, I could never tell if this was a TV screen projection or a window. I think it's a projection, right? Because it's a top-down view. I mean, it's simulated, so maybe they just simulated it from the wrong perspective and it's supposed to be a window, but there's also these like TV digital distortion lines on it as if it was a screen. I don't know. Also, how did they kill another AAT? 
The good guy's tank went away after that one shot. Are those Duros back here? It looks like four Duros. I did not realize that. I wonder if they're, they've gotta be separatists, right? <laughs> Oh, this is so cool. They come into the hangar, immediately shoot this guy, and ignites his gun as he dies and just shoots off into the distance. Oh my gosh, he shoots like 10 times when he falls over. <gasps> Did he have a machine gun? He didn't have a normal blaster. Look at this. One, two, three, four, five, six. He shot six times by the time he fell over. That is so cool. I never noticed he had a machine gun and not a blaster. Also, this droid here is so cool. They shoot this guy and they don't shoot him. They shoot like an electrical panel on the wall or something and it explodes and just blows him away. And he too shoots in the distance. Whenever they get shot, it just short circuits their trigger finger and it just sends an electrical pulse. It's like the second chance perk in Call of Duty. Oh, funny, this guy drops his gun as he falls down. He like lets go of it and it goes up in the air. I don't think I appreciated uh, Padme's green blaster, her little pistol here enough. This is so cool. I just realized we don't see too many green blaster bolts from pistols, right? Or did I forget something? Feel free to put it in the comments if I did. I love how there's so much happening. I completely forgot about this. And holy cow, the green blaster fire is from good guys. And there's blaster fire coming from behind the majority of the good guys, including the queen, the Jedi, all the main characters with plot armor. There's green blaster fire coming from behind them. Shoots this, blows out, and almost like, I don't know, hurts these two guys. And another goes right over their heads. It's kind of dangerous. Oh wait, did this guy die? A droid got someone? Who's the lucky droid? I think it's this guy, or this guy. Maybe this guy. It appears right here, so maybe it's this guy. Oof, yeah, that guy got obliterated right in the chest. Ooh, look, Padme hit a droid right here. Shoots this guy. Have a seat, very nice. Oh my gosh, someone from behind the main characters shoots through Qui-Gon and this pilot right here and just snipes this battle droid. I mean, good shot, but that's a little ballsy. Yeah, this this line of guys, they were they were, they probably should not have been shooting through the good guys here. What? This guy dies? He gets hit right here in the shoulder and does like a little spin death. That's sad. I never saw anyone laying down on the floor in the hangar shooting. Oh, there he is. He looks like he's his legs are just going back and forth in the air. Should probably put those down, boy. These starfighters are so sleek. These might be one of my favorite ships in Star Wars. I love them. Those, honestly, in the Delta Seven Jedi starfighters, the first iteration, those two had the same vibe. I love how sleek they are. There's our daily Wilhelm scream. Throw those arms out and just dramatic fall. Look, see, this guy is the problem. Look how close he fires. <laughs> He's like trying to singe his friend's jacket here obviously does not like him that was way too close can we all agree on that just droid parts lane everywhere i love it oh a droid got shot wait did he get shot off the ledge or just behind the box look this guy this green bolt hits this droid in the back here and he disappears i wanted to say he fell off the ledge but i think he just fell behind this box still pretty funny this guy is sprawled out look at that how do you reach the fighters up here? Do you think they come down or there's ladders that go up to them? Kind of curious. They always had a problem with how they sit in the hangar and they just kind of put them there. They never really figured it out or explained it. But I wonder how you reach the upper level of starfighters. Oh yes, another Wilhelm scream. I forgot how many of them there were. Beautiful fall. I mean, he had the spotlight right in front of the camera. I wouldn't be surprised if a dude shot him from behind at the same time. They're getting so close. I mean, even her, Padme's decoy, shoots right in front of his ear. I know he's dead, but he wasn't a second ago. Jeez, there is so much going on here. Little droid gets hit here, just kind of falls back into the abyss. They're so dramatic when they die. Did a good guy die? <gasps> no way, a second guy went prone. Oh no, he died. <laughs> he's, he's dead, he's dead. He just fell to his knees and it looked a little, I don't know, purposeful. It looked like he, he did it on purpose to go prone like the other guy. It almost looks like he's comped in. It looks like he wasn't there to shoot it. There's no shadows on the ground. I mean, it's there is, but it's not enough. He's way more crisp than this guy right next to him. And look, see the shadow on the ground? There's not a strong shadow for this guy. I mean, it's basic, but look, even when he falls, something clips and it messes up. I think this guy was added in post, just someone who died, so it looked like the good guys weren't invincible. Yeah, there's no shadow under him. This guy was definitely comped in. That is wild. Also, at this point, there's a section of good guys on the left side firing at the right side of the hangar. 
There's no bad guys over here. What are they looking at? They should be firing down range. Maybe they're all comped in. I mean, this guy, you can see some lines around his boot from the green screen. I guess this guy was just comped in at a later time and not the same way. Poor dude, this guy just runs up to check on his dead friend. He's not even firing. I think he's a medic. Yeah, this guy's comped in too, what the heck? Proportions are wrong and he's like clipping through this box. How did I not realize this? I guess just to add more actors in, kind of interesting. Oh, I forgot someone gets hit on the way out. This AAT actually did a good job. What the heck? Oh, nails him right in the side. And these starfighters are so sleek too. They're so thin, which makes for hard targets, which is great for them. Sure hope Anakin wasn't in that one. What a dramatic death, spinning all the way to the ground. Wait, can you see the Gungans in the background? No, you can't, right? Because I thought they were out here in the distance, but I guess not. I love the writing on this. I don't know what that means, but I'm so curious. It's so hard to not recite all the lines with the characters as they say them, just because I've heard this and it's been burned in my brain so many times. I love this movie. Oh my gosh, we're not even doing this. They just break off into so many different fights. It's so cool. I love that they say we'll take the long way. They kind of find Maul where they entered the hangar. And they're like, okay, you guys deal with this guy. We're gonna go the long way. And then they both go different directions. This guy right here was waiting for everyone to move because he has no idea where they wanted him to go. He's just jogging off. Look how fake their jog is. It looks like they're trying to jog slowly or something. I don't know. Oh, these are so awesome. Where did these go? How did, how did the Jordicas never evolve? Why did they just disappear? Oh my gosh, Padme's the only one that doesn't go for cover straight away and keeps running towards them. That is bold. Oh, this gun is so cool. I need a prop of it or something. I forgot how much I love it. Oh, it looks like this double blaster hits this guy and cuts him in half. Look at this. Let's figure out what this is. It's probably a CG'd explosion. Okay, well, the blaster bolt hasn't even hit him yet. That's weird. Maybe it was a double fire and the first one was this one. I don't know, that's weird. Okay, but it's probably a CG blast that they rotoed his arm on top of and they just gave him a nub. No fingers, it looks like a little Lego guy, but without, without a hand. But it just like, looks like he cuts him in half. That's so crazy. I mean, great fall. Goodness, knocks over this. Oh, it hits him in the head, it lands on him. He jumped backwards into these crates. He threw his gun up in the air, like really high up in the air. I wonder if that hit someone. And he knocks over this box and then it falls on his head. It looks like they killed another guy while we weren't looking. Oh, even the controls of how this operates is so neat. Oh, that destruction is so satisfying. Oops, wrong one. Maybe it's this one. I don't know how anybody could hate on Jake Lloyd. I think the kid did a great job. This poor guy. All that's left of them after they blow up, this little ball on the ground. Oh my gosh, I did not realize that this scene is them in the same hangar that they were just in. This is where Darth Maul opened the door and apparently he pushed them backwards. Cause this is where everyone enters, the queen, Qui-Gon, they enter and start opening fire at the droids who are over here when they're way back here. And then they go to exit to take the short way and run into Darth Maul who's been following them. And then apparently Darth Maul pushes them backwards. That's so interesting. I, I didn't realize they were in the same hangar. It just never clicked, I don't know why. Oh my gosh, I've played Battlefront 2. I can't believe I, I can't believe that didn't click. Who shot first? Oh, okay, so they're running up and a good guy shoots first. Why did they not wait till they got closer? This guy immediately fires as soon as he turns and almost kills someone. They should have waited. They should have just ran behind the columns. I don't know why the first guy opened fire so quickly. Oh, who died? I didn't even see him die. There's no one there. Rip. I love how they're just crouching and peeking out from behind each other. It looks so cool. They're doing a much better job of not almost killing each other. This guy gets killed too off screen. We don't even see it. Look at this, the way he holds it. Oh, it's so cool. I think the trigger guard is part of what makes it so cool. That and the scope and the multiple barrels. Nice, it's like a sniper pistol. This is so funny that this guy from way back here in the back shoots this guy from behind it looks like. He's like turned sideways and turns even the opposite direction more. I love this. Okay, so Captain Panaka turns and just lays into this window until it explodes and glass just goes everywhere. Completely like raining down glass on two of his buddies right here, his troops. Like I always wondered because it obviously looks like these guys are in pain. Like they are terrified and 
getting hurt. They're taking damage from this window exploding. Look at him, huddled up against his friend, like wincing in pain as it blows up. I always wondered if they died, because I think you can see this guy, but you can't see this guy later. Yeah, see, the good guys were on this corner right here, and you don't see either of them. I guess their bodies aren't on the ground, so that's good. Also, I just noticed this trooper has a second sniper pistol on his belt. I mean, maybe he accidentally just got an extra prop somehow. I have no idea, but I mean, whip that sucker out and start dual wielding. That would be so cool. How did he not do that? I would never be able to resist that urge. Pretty interesting, though. I didn't see anyone else with two pistols. Oh my gosh, look, another person with two pistols. Do you think this is the same actor? What are the chances there's two different people who got two guns when they weren't supposed to? This is kind of cool. I'm digging it. It's a shame we didn't get to see them dual wield ever. See, here's the guy in the yellow jacket, but the red guy is nowhere to be found. Maybe he's over here. He's like, all right, I'm out. That was too much. That big explosion, all that glass was just these two panels of windows. Oh, another guy died. How? We literally just saw him. Look, they're running over to the window. There's not even any more yellow guys. Okay. These two here, actually. I guess one of these guys died. Yeah, because now there's a yellow guy dead here. Maybe someone tried to come across and didn't make it. Ooh, another shot in the shoulder. Took him off his feet. They can't have good center of balances. Oh, this is crazy. It looks so cool. Don't fall. Okay, always wanted to know this. Factor cap. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, it's the same amount of people. How many people came out onto the ledge? Are all the people still on the ledge? Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hmm, I think it just looked like more people. It looked like there was like 10 or 15 and then like six cables got shot out, but it's eight and eight. I'm Mary Poppins. It looks like Captain Panaka kicks Padme here. <laughs> this guy almost didn't make it. This guy on the end here, he struggled to get up there. Same with this guy, the two yellow guys on the edge, both almost failed. Look at him, his feet were running. No droids? No droids. Okay, there's way more than eight guys here now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, eleven. There's eleven guys now. Where'd the other three come from? I guess just more guys shot their cables up. Okay, in the next shot, there's way more than eleven, it feels like. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, there's one more than eleven. What? Oh my goodness, Captain Panaga has a second pistol on his hip too. How did I never notice this before? And how did none of them ever pick up the second pistol and dual wield? At least there was an excess of these cool guns laying around because honestly, they're one of my favorites. Yeah, okay, so this isn't even a, a standing chance. Like the whole thing about a Mexican standoff is like you die, right? If you're the one that loses, if the other guy fires first. But these are just droids. These are expendable. They fire, die, who cares? There's more droids. The people, they can mow these people down and the whole war is over. There's no more queen. Plus also it's like a normal soldier versus like Hulk, 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 Hulk. Not fair at all. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, they're back to eight people. That means the droids executed four people or they got lost or just didn't care. Your occupation here has ended. Oh, I love that they show up. Perfect timing. Crack shot too. Dead center. Look at that. Your occupation here has ended. Droid turns around, gets blasted dead center in the chest. Bullseye. Oh, her bodyguard blasts this guy top of the forehead. Domed him. Knocks him clean off. I, I love that. That was great. I didn't realize the accuracy the Naboo bodyguards have here. It's crazy how well they integrated this walking between two real characters. Look at this. He's just like, excuse me. Shadows look great in everything. Shadows on both Viceroy and this guy too. The way these crumple are so nice. Did this guy just trip over him? Okay, so this guy stops and fires, just snipes this guy for fun puts him on his feet this guy gets hit too and he falls backwards and like stumbles into this guy and this guy trips over him and fires that's so funny i've never seen that he hits him like right in the groin and just this dude falls forward and shoots on accident i'm telling you they had short circuiting problems with their trigger fingers and just would open fire randomly throughout the day another one gets blasted right in the chest beautiful this secret compartment is so cool. I thought this was the coolest thing as a kid. I was like, I gotta put this in my bed somewhere so I can just have like toys and stuff for when I'm supposed to go to sleep and then I can stay awake. I, I want that now, that is sick. God, they love shooting these in the head, huh? They're just so satisfying to kill. I've said how much I would love to just have Adam with a lightsaber, but even with blasters, they're just so fun to shoot. They have such horrible aim too. Look how far away he is, 10 feet. 
10 feet. Opens fire, completely misses her. Look how far they go. You just hit them with a pistol? Oh, it's like the pistol's supercharged, but it's just their wimpy little droids. Oh my gosh, that was close. This one comes out from behind. He's literally like shoulder to shoulder with this guy and Padme just blows his head off and his whole body follows. That is so satisfying. This too. This little button. I'll close my door that way, sure. Technically, that is the end of the Battle of Theed. There was quite a few moments with the battle droids or even the good guys almost shooting their own people that I have never seen before. A couple people were comped in. That one dude went prone, the battle droid tripping over the other one. We found a good amount of little details in this video. I can't believe I didn't look at it in slow motion sooner. If you have any suggestions for what you want to see next, put them down in the comments. I'll go through them after this. Go watch this video in the meantime. And remember, the Force will be with you. Always.